What's up, everybody? I'm the Mangoose. You are awesome, and it's time for the weekly updates. And oh, what a week it has been. The things that we've been asking for from a lot of these companies have finally are finally coming into fruition. They finally announced a lot of alphas and everything. I've got updates for Predecessor, Fault, and Overprime. So let's get into it. But before we do, hit that like button if you enjoy these little weekly roll-ups, and subscribe if you want more. Moving into Predecessor. Predecessor released a closed alpha teaser with an announced date of 10 July. That's just a few days away. And they also released a full-blown trailer after that. This is great news, but it is a closed alpha. You do need to sign up for kind of a lottery for it. Um, I'll have that linked below. You can head to their website, sign up for their weekly newsletter, and sign up for alpha access. And hopefully you get it, and hopefully you get in. Moving on to Fault, they also released their early access to be 17 July, so uh, a little bit further out than predecessors, but still this month. And this one is uh, paid early access, so you don't have to, you, if, if you don't want to enter a lottery for this one, you could just pay for the game and play it. So there's benefits to both sides, and uh, if, any, if anybody wants to play Fault, and you got the money for it, just, you know, pay for the early access pass- package and you're in. There's no uh, there's no cap on the amount of people that will be able to play. And uh, let me see. Thrive to the Great. I don't know what that means. Won their PC giveaway. Uh, congrats to him. They had a really nice um, PC. You could, you could definitely do whatever you wanted to and play that game on the highest settings with the PC that they did give away. So cool stuff from Fault. Overprime, what have we been asking for from Overprime? Dedicated servers, and they finally have them through Amazon Web Hosting Services. They have one in North America and two in Europe. They'll increase those if they need to. And uh, there's soon to be one in Singapore. We've been asking for dedicated servers from Overprime for quite a long time now. Um, I haven't tested them out yet, so you know, give them a shot if you want to. And uh, their tournament is done. I didn't really follow their tournament, but you can check it out if you want to on their YouTube page. And they are working on a new UI. So uh, their UI wasn't that bad to begin with. It's a little confusing. It, sh- it, it could be, um, you know, clarified a little bit to, to as to how you enter games. But, you know, anything new is good for them. So good, for, good on them. But that's all I have for this week. It was a huge week, huge updates. I'm really happy to see a lot of this stuff coming along. But you do need to bear in mind, too, like the predecessor, that's a closed alpha. So, um, you know, it's free, but you got to win. You got to kind of win a laundry to get in there or already have alpha access. And then the the fault early access, that one you could pay for. And there's no cap, I don't think. There's a cap on how many people can get in. I'll have to clarify with them. And then um, Overprime. Uh, yeah, that's the main thing holding people back from Overprime is those servers, and they got them now. So great news this week in the world of the the, the para-zombies. I didn't really have much for the other games that I cover, but that's okay. They'll uh, I'm sure they'll have big news later this summer. But for now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!